Hey, I'm Adam Holman. I'm the Director of Admissions for Manchester University. Yeah, so I came to Manchester in 1997, and what was amazing for me is that this place just became a home away from home for me, and I, I never left. I've been a part of this community ever since, and I love this place. You know, study abroad at Manchester is a major part of our community. Uh, across the United States, other schools have programs, but it's nowhere near the participation we have here at Manchester. We really focus on discovery here, and I think that nothing helps bring that up more than being thrown into a really uncomfortable environment and learning things about culture and differences in the world. So Manchester is responsible for my first trip overseas. I had never left the United States before. But my family just simply wasn't one who traveled. You know, we're the kind of family if we went down to Indianapolis, a three hour drive that would require a hotel stay. And so I never took advantage of the study abroad opportunities when I was a student here at Manchester. And when I learned that I'd be able to travel abroad and recruit for Manchester, I was excited and a little scared. And my family was not okay with it. They felt that it was something that was just beyond me. Why would I do that? Why would I leave the United States and everything great about it? When I first landed, uh, we actually landed at an airport in Amman, Jordan. And it was a really interesting experience. We got off the plane and for the first time I knew that I was a clear minority. I was someone who was visiting, who couldn't have a basic conversation with anyone I met because I didn't have the proper language skills. And I was in a situation where I was completely at the mercy of the security there. They could determine if I could even go through a doorway. <laughs> and it made me feel very vulnerable in ways I hadn't experienced here in Indiana. It was amazing to be in Palestine and to see the graciousness that people had. They're kind to one another. They'll go out of their way to help someone. For instance, one of our drivers one time was driving people around and made an unscheduled stop to pick up a bag of tomatoes and then along the way dropped it off for another family. They just are, they're very clever at accomplishing things for each other, for using their community to serve the community's needs. Um, it was also interesting to see the presence of Israeli security and to feel the tension there and to know that it's a very complex situation and on both sides I think people feel that complexity and tension. I've never felt that I'm an expert in anything involving the Israeli-Palestinian challenges, but when I was there I think it definitely opened my eyes to more of just how deep-rooted some of the issues are, and also how focused certain individuals are on, on finding a solution. It's difficult to place blame, but it is easy to see those who aren't willing to keep an open conversation. And I, well, I kept finding myself saying, why aren't you talking to one another? Or why is one person stopping the conversation? Just be open to, to peace, be open to resolution. And I realized how difficult that truly is. We visited some incredible schools everywhere we went. One of the most memorable, I have to say, is when we were in Addis Ababa, we went to the School of Tomorrow in Ethiopia. It's a school that's given us a few students already here at Manchester. And when we went in, we were welcomed and greeted by the administration, by students who remembered Selena, who was with us. But then when we went to go to our presentation, we were in for a shock. We walked into a room, just expecting a few students. And then I turned the corner, there must have been at least 200 children in that room all applauding us and cheering, so excited to learn about education opportunities. And for me, what a moment. It just made the trip. It was incredible. I think when I returned to the United States from this trip, I had so much on my mind. I'd been gone for two weeks and I thought, okay, I need to get back into the world that I know here. But at the same time, I wasn't ready to let go of the things I'd seen, the things I'd learned. There was just so much difference put upon me in such a short period of time. It took a while to process it. It took me a while to kind of get back to feeling like I was okay doing what I was doing. I felt like, why am I not out there making a bigger difference in the world? And I had to kind of say to myself, you know what? We all make differences in our own ways, and I'm making a difference here at Manchester by, by doing what I love and helping other students find their passion so they can go out there and make differences. And that was a moment for me that really made my professional career feel right.